Hello, guys, gals, and NBs. Today we are going to look at how to animate SOPs with TOPS. I don't know a lot about computers, but one thing I have understood from working in Touch Designer is this. CPU is slow. GPU is fast. SOPs use CPU. TOPS use GPU. We need to use TOPS to efficiently animate a geometry. One way to do this is using instancing. Today, we are looking at another strategy. Our example is this jellyfish creature that I came across on my deep ocean explorations. Delete everything. Let's start with a line SOP. You can play around with these values, but here are the ones that I used. Point A, 0 0.02, 0 0.11, and 0 0.2. Point B, negative 0 0.5, 0 0.2, and negative 0 0.6. Let's connect this to a copy SOP. In order to change the amount of copies, we will use a constant chop. Rename the channel to count and let's increase that value to 100. Drag that value to the number of points in the line SOP. and to the number of copies in the copy SOP. We want the copies to appear in a circle. Drag the value to the rotate Z and type in 360 divided by the expression. Now we have a fun shape. Connected to a null, because we are heading into chop land. SOP to chop. Connect into a null. We are leaving chop land and heading into top land. Chop to top. Data format RGB and fit to square. Connect it to a noise. Use both inputs on the noise. For now amplitude 0 and offset 0. Monochrome off. Connect another noise. Only the first input this time. Perlin 3, D. Under the output change the operation to multiply. Under transform, set the scale white to zero. Period to two. Harmonics to one. Monochrome off. Connect it to a math. We will get back to that later. No. Because we are going back to chops. Top to chop. Rename the channels to TXTY and TZ. Under Crop, set it to Full Image. Now we have too many channels. Connect a Shuffle Chop. Sequence channels by name. And a Null.
Chop to SOP. Nice, now we have the original geometry. It's like we walked around the house and ended up where we started. To the original SOP null, plug in a convert SOP. Convert to Bezier curve. Plug it into the chop to SOP. Smooth curves. Into a null. Into a geometry. Add a camera. Align material. And a render top. A transform to create a background. In the line material, change it to your desired line width and change the colors around. Nice. Let's make this jellyfish dance. Create a constant chop. Plug it into a speed. And into a null. We can now control the time with a slider. A keyboard in to reset the speed. Viewer active on the null. And drag and drop the reference to the transform X on our seconds noise top. We have movement. In top world. The Cartesian coordinates. Left right, up down, and forward back, is represented in red green and blue. The closer something gets to zero, black. The closer it moves toward the center. Let's add some details and change some parameters in the first noise. Turn the amplitude up to 0.03. Add some harmonics and play with all the values. In the count constant add as many lines as your computer can handle. 250 seems to be my maximum.
Let's also animate the first noise in the Z direction. There we go. I want to add some stretch. Up and down in this figure seems to be the Z direction. That is represented in the blue channel. Let's put down another constant chop. Rename it to LFO Frequency. Add an LFO under the math top. Let's use a Gaussian curve. And drag and drop the frequency. and rest reference. Connect it to a null. In the math, top, let's animate the to range with our Gaussian curve. And attenuate it to your preference. We now have a jellyfish that squashes and stretches. Neat. Just for fun, let's animate the camera with an LFO. Create a constant frequency. Drop down an LFO chop and a null. Add it to the translate X on the camera. A SGSDFG SDFG. Way too fast. Let's fix this. Change the frequency. And drop a component null. Drag the null to the look out of the camera. Now that camera will always look at that no. Add a noise chop to the Z direction. Change the period.
And there we go. A swimming jellyfish. Add your post-processing. A luma blur and a ramp. Maybe some feedback blur. Maybe even an RGBA delay. Who knows the options are endless. Play with all of the parameters. And remember to have fun with it. Like, share, and subscribe. Ask questions in the comments and so on. If you've made it this far follow me on Instagram and Bandcamp. Cheers.